masters in computer science uh, georgia tech um, i'm not even going to touch upon the dual degree aspect uh, yet because a masters in cs at georgia tech itself is a dream for uh, you know so many of our students and so many people all over the world so uh, can you run you th- run us through a little bit of your profile and uh, you know what you believe was important and how you crack that cs admit we'll get to the dual degree later sure um so um i'll just uh, talk about my background first so um uh talking about my undergraduate degree it was in instrumentation and control engineering which nowadays in many parts of india india have been renamed as electronics and instrumentation um and during my undergraduate degree i got interested um in data science um but my education was not enough to support my data science aspect that i was interested in so i started everything learning by myself i graduated uh, my undergraduate degree with 8.25 major which was i think it's a decent major uh, it's a decent cgpa um it was not enough to get me in top 3 but it was enough to keep me in top 10 with that right out of college uh, i started working as a ai software developer at a us based pharmaceutical automation company so there my work mainly did dealt with um, optimizing and enhancing the high precision line following robot for warehousing operations um, i worked there for about 8 months and then i started as a full time data scientist at reliance industries limited at hazira surat i believe that uh maybe i was just lucky because of the projects that i got at reliance because like the, i had a wide spectrum of uh projects that i got to work at reliance and because of the data driven approaches and initiatives that i took to inculcate all the solutions in current uh, business and process pipelines um it was like it proved to be effective and i would say that my professional journey is a bit more empowering of talking about myself um when it comes to my overall profile um and yeah it was like i worked there for about uh, nearly about 2.5 years uh, after which i decided that i wanted to get into the technical depths of the different data science algorithms so i decided to pursue that okay let me pursue my masters because i wanted to answer the question that why are some algorithms working the way they are so it's the mathematics that helps us to understand right and so i decided uh, to get my advanced degree in the us and i applied to a bunch of colleges um out of which i got uh, accepted into cmu um georgia tech and uh, northeastern uh, khuri college uh, for data science uh, uh, program um and weighing my financial options i decided to go with uh, georgia tech okay all right that's fantastic and i'm going to touch up on the financial aspects of it you know eventually at a later part of the interview but a uh, uh, very interesting uh, you know getting into uh, you know computer science uh, from a not strictly a computer science undergrad um so just curious for the benefit of our audience uh, did you have your uh, four prerequisites in your undergrad which is database management systems uh, data structures object oriented programming operating systems or did you compensate for them if they were missing yeah i had no formal education from my undergraduate degree it was so um so my like uh, in in second year just just to give a little bit background in my second year i, start, I wanted to build a s- prototype of a self driving car so it's uh, you know there is there is um, the 8 to 10 year children ride a children toy car then even in the physical set and so i started with that i i removed all the wirings i i put in electronics as well as and then i started to pick up okay how do i make this computer recognize if there is object in front of me how do i make this computer recognize the road lanes and everything so at that point i picked up the data science okay and i found that this is very interesting so if i wanted to get like so if i wanted to get to know this field more what i did was that after my college hours i used to read a lot about this i used i have um, approximately taken around 50 courses on coursera uh, aligning to this data science um that uh, you know compensates on my object oriented um database as well as the different data science aspects um also my software uh, d- software development knowledge Uh, mostly stems from that and a little bit of competitive coding i'm not that good at competitive coding but you know it's enough uh, for me to suffice for the data science field um and with, and i just highlighted this specific segment i definitely highlighted in my essay that how i compensated for this uh, formal education um through my self learning initiatives that is what they were looking for if they are looking uh, for such prerequisites in any profile all right uh, thank you so much for that uh, you know very insightful because a lot of people ask me you know how do i transition um, to know pure, to a pure data science program or a comp science program without uh, the prerequisites on my transcript i'm sure that answer is going to help a, a lot of them 